Hey y'all, this is the BPL, Path of Exile's premier team-based community scavenger hunt. Four teams compete for the fabulous prize of a JPEG in the community discord and a smug sense of superiority. Einhar's extravaganza will have the following four teams. Team Roa, Team Hellions, Team Weavers, and Team Porcupines. Each team will be restricted to its own set of ascendancies, which you can see on screen. The planning team and developers have come up with new and exciting ways to keep you grinding into the wee hours of the morning, including the return of a crowd favorite collection goal. Engineering Orbs. We have also added two new unique sets to collect. The participants will now have to traverse the perils of the Forbidden Sanctum and shake an extremely angry bird woman down for loot. Participants will also have to claim victory over the souls of the Karai ancestors, or whatever is going on this league. I honestly didn't read the plot, but you need their unique items. Heist remains the door open extravaganza you all know and love, but this time a gem collection race will require you to find a certain number of phantasmal gems rather than gems of a particular color. Last VPL's Delve Race was a big hit and returns this time, requiring you to delve deeper than ever, racing now from 300 depth to 600. The cumulative depth goal remains in place. Keep mining that sulfide exiles. In the design notes for this announcement, the planning team merely put a smiley face in the daily section. No need for terror here, I am sure. We have also continued to iterate the personal objective scoring to ensure each player's contribution matters to their team's success and we are allowing the option of using TOTA ranking to replace the Atlas passive points for this score. Now, here to tell us about the changes to bounties in this BPL is Veracity. Yo, how's it going guys? Veracity here to tell you about the bounty changes for BPL 12. The Crucible objective is of course gone. This has been replaced with a TOTA themed bounty of reaching rank 1000 in Trial of the Ancestors. Light Ravage maps return. With a bounty requiring the player to complete a Blight Ravage map whilst having no gems socketed into their gear. The race is staying in large part the same. We will however be adding a race specific to Trial of the Ancestors. The first team to have a player reach rank 50 in Trial of the Ancestors will be rewarded points. This player cannot progress past Lion Eyes Watch, so be sure to help them in any ways you can. Thanks, Ferocity. To close things out, let's go over the dates and times for BPL 12. Signups are open now. With four teams playing, this BPL there are 1400 slots, so be sure to sign up as soon as you can to make sure you have a space. The first sort will occur on Monday the 18th of September at around 8pm GMT, at which point you will gain access to your team's Discord section and begin plotting for your inevitable victory. Another sort will then occur each day leading up to the leak start at approximately the same time as the first sort. The event will start on Friday the 22nd at 8pm GMT and go until Tuesday the 26th at 8pm GMT. Following the end of the event, there will be a short award ceremony to celebrate. We hope y'all are as excited as we are playing this BBL and look forward to seeing you grind out those engineering orbs.